Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and welcome to Unreal Engine Project Titan. Now this one is unique actually, uh, there's been something a little bit like it, I'll get back to that in just a minute, and the name is a little unfortunate, I'll also get back to that in just a minute. But what exactly is Project Titan? Well this is like a game jam for artists, uh, by Epic Games for using Unreal Engine. You can get a copy of Substance Painter and Substance Modeler for free out of it for six months. Uh, and more than that, it's basically a way to work with a bunch of artists, get professional feedback on your work, it's going to be going on for quite a while. It's a 10 week long project. It starts on March the 28th. It ends on June the 7th. Now this isn't um, a competition in any way. You're not getting any rewards out of it as far as I can tell. Uh, all your work is going to be open sourced at the end of it. It's something to definitely be aware of. Uh, so let's check out the readme on this one. So want to take part in a collaborative art jam and hone your Unreal Engine skills in the process? Sign up for Project Titan. T Titan taking place from March the 28th to June the 7th. We've created a base open world landscape ready for you to fill with your own assets and characters. You have 10 weeks to contribute to the game, collaborate with others, receive support from Epic and other game industry experts. Uh, the final result will be released as a free open world sample project for everyone to download and explore. So that's actually really kind of cool. In 10 weeks time, we're going to have this really big, uh, highly variable quality open world project to download, which is kind of nice. But do keep in mind, it does sound like whatever you contribute to this is going to be open source at the end. Uh, finally, uh, it's essentially, it's a two and a half month collaborative game jam that provides a fantastic opportunity to learn and sharpen your world building game dev skills, be part of a unique experience to create something incredible. We made the map, you make it unreal. And then there's this random quote from uh, AWS. I'm not really sure why. Uh, AWS is excited to partner with Epic Games on Project Titan, which will introduce developers to the industry leading tools and services they need to create the next generation of interactive and immersive games, film, art, and entertainment experiences. So I don't know, maybe they're doing the hosting there. Uh, but yeah, so you see there, there's this base world. Uh, so it's kind of got a slightly stylized art context to it. Uh, I have a feeling that it might actually be a whole bunch of different, it might be divided up into different chunks. I'm not really sure uh, if that's where they're going with this. Uh, so who can take part? Is this for pros only? No, it's not. Uh, the challenge is open to everybody, regardless of skill level or area of expertise. It's an experimental, collaborative, and community-driven project intended to provide a fun learning opportunity for all. Whether you're a student, experienced Unreal Engine developer, or someone who's come across from other engines, this challenge is a great way to learn Unreal Engine, improve your skills, and show off your work. What will you get? out of it. Uh, offers a unique learning opportunity to immerse you in open world game development. You will gain experiences in working on large open world projects, setting up your own remote Unreal Engine studio, and learning how open world games are created. The project offers a chance to work directly with Unreal Engine and game art experts and get feedback and help throughout. Ideal for anyone new to game development or looking to hone their artistic or technical skills. Uh, it is also an opportunity to contribute to a sample project in a fun and collaborative way, join forces with fellow artists, and make connections around the world. And by participating in the challenge, you will receive six months free subscription to Adobe Substance 3D Painter and Modeler, uh, enabling you to easily create and texture 3D models for the project. Painter is the go-to tools for texturing used by beginners and seasoned professionals alike, integrated with Unreal Engine and UEFN to simplify the process of bringing high-quality 3D assets from concept to game. Funny they don't say anything about Modeler. Now, Modeler is a newer tool, uh, just one of those things to be aware of. And if you wish to apply and other important information, uh, so this project is an Unreal Engine 5. Challenges open from March the 28th to June the 7th. There are breakdowns by a variety of different artistic categories. So this is not for programmers, by the way. This is just art areas. Uh, so uh, there you can see. And then every Friday from April 5th to June 7th, there will be a weekly live stream providing feedback, highlighting great work from the week, and talking about development. So there is a register here. Uh, and you join the challenge based on a track from the looks of things. So you can be a level designer or environmental art track, a character art prop art, material art, or VFX art. And you can see the number of people that have signed up so far in each one of these categories uh, is shown here as well. Uh, it's all being hosted so far, it seems, on ArtStation. Uh, so yeah, that's the. those are the roles within this project. Uh, now, I did say that the name is a little uh, unfortunate. <laughs> I don't know why they would choose this name. Uh, so Side Effects Software, the makers of Houdini, uh, actually have something called a Project Titan that they actually use as a tech demo to show their uh, technologies and such. And the kicker is it uses Unreal Engine 5, uh, which, again, the name here is a little um, interesting that they should they should choose that one because again, it's already taken and already taken on the level of a 3D demo created using Unreal Engine 5. So um, that was a, an interesting choice of names. I, I don't know if the people at Side Effects are like, hey, 
hey, this is our thing. Uh, it's also an interesting if you want to go ahead and check that one out. Uh, and I said there's someone out there that has done something somewhat similar to that, uh, and that would be Unity. Uh, they did their open projects a while back. This was a great initiative, in my opinion. It was basically uh, they had some people and their team that were guiding the, the development, but it was uh, they created a bunch of art assets, etc. And then you went from there to try and create a complete game with it. Uh, so the, what was the game called? Uh, I don't think that this went that far. Okay, I'm not I'm not doing my two factor verification here, uh, but they definitely uh, they attempted this in the past. I, I knew it finished, but I, I don't know how it ultimately turned out. But it was the same basic concept. So they provided a bunch of uh, art assets, and then kind of it was like a go at it. Um, and it was a collaborative thing. They had people on their team that gave feedback. So I think this is a very similar idea to the Unity Open Project. Sadly, this doesn't seem to be going anywhere anymore. And I think one of the big problems that they ran into is just the massive disparity in skill. And the truth of the matter is when you break it down, uh, a professional or an experienced developer generally uh, will contribute you know, either uh, much higher quality work or a much higher volume of work making at the end of the day a lot of times the amateur contributions being um, almost unusable or you're going to have just such a massive jarring uh, disparency in the quality of the ultimate output so that's an aspect of it now a lot of you may actually just join this for this so you can get six months of substance painter and substance modeler for free so, so this is substance painter right here Again, uh, the industry standard for doing uh, 3D modeling and texturing work. Uh, there was Quixel uh, Mixer, which was kind of competing with it, but Mixer's gone kind of quiet, uh, which is weird. But yeah, Substance Painter is definitely the industry standard 3D. 3D texturing tool out there. Uh, so you can get six months of it. And, and keep in mind, this is actually a pretty big boon because again, it's Adobe. So this is subscription-based software, but you can see uh, the substance suite is you're looking at, you know, 25 bucks a month, six months worth. So uh, almost $200 worth of free software here. And then the other aspect here is the substance modeler. Uh, and this is a 3D sculpting tool. They actually bought this and rebranded it. Uh, but if you wanted to model in 3R, you can, three, I'm sorry, VR, uh, you you can do so this way on top of that um, you can also use it uh, directly on a computer uh, normal modeling style uh, so it's kind of like a, a ZBrush sculpting type tool uh, again, this was a product they bought and rebranded as Substance Modeler. Uh, I've never actually checked it out, so I've got no idea how good it is. It'd be a good opportunity to go ahead and do so because I could get six months for free if I signed up for this project right here. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is Project Titan. Again, it's like a really long-running, 10-week-long art jam uh, using Unreal Engine 5. You get six months of Substance Painter and Substance Modeler for free. Again, it is set up along these different tracks, so environmental or level design, character, props, materials, and vehicles effects. Uh, I'd be interested to see how this ultimately turns out. Like I said, uh, Unity tried this with open projects, and I know they ran into just kind of, again, a disparity of skill aspect, and I, I think Unreal will run into this as well. But interesting to see how it turns out. But if you're like a... Um, aspiring artists and you want to make some contacts, you want to get some experience, or you just want to get six months of substance for free, definitely worth checking out. But let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.